week. I just want to make this quick video show the prices on Dead Man Mode items. First up, we have the Vestas Longsword going for 40 mil, guys. Guys, the new, the, the strong weapons, the strong stuff is going for so much, guys. So this is 40 mil cash. That's a lot of OSR's cash. That's like 400 mil or something or more, guys. So next item is... Next we have Corrupt Nightmare Staff going for 7 mil. That's quite a bit, guys. All these expensive strong items are going for a bit, so it's hard to stack all of them at once. But if you're a PK, unless you're like PKing a ton, but hey, 7 mil. This thing hits like a truck, guys. Especially if you're using Augury, you can hit like 75 with it. Uh, but guys, that th those scrolls cost a lot right now. Those are up next. Check it out, is Prayer Scroll. I was able to pick this one up for 22 mil. I'm proud to, to have one, guys. This is freaking crap, guys. Next, we're going for Arcane, guys. Best Prayer Scrolls in the game, guys. These are permanent unlocks for Ridgeor and Augury, so it's very cracked. Next, we have Arcane Prayer Scroll. This is a magic variant of the uh, Ridgeor. And, guys, this has recently been sold for 25 mil. Last sold an hour ago. I don't know how much it's going for now. Again, these things are being merged hard, so if someone drops it, they're going to probably sell it or whatever, guys. I would use it if I got the drop, though. We're saving up for this next, so. Next, we have the scythe. This is very crap for training. You can get like 3 mil XP or more per hour using this against like so many monsters. So, this is going for a lot. 10 mil, guys. You have to put charges into it as well. We're going to hopefully. Uh, have this and go down in price, but even without it, I don't, want, I don't really want to use it while training. I think someone will try to PK me with it. So, uh, hey, if you want to use it at the Warriors Guild, it's free to use. It's freaking, you can max out super easy, guys, like within like 10 hours or something. Next, we have Fury. Fury always goes for like 2.5 to 3.5 to 4 mil. Uh, it's a freaking great item. It's going to be used. Uh, everybody's pretty, probably going to want one end game, guys. Uh, I kind of crashed the price an hour ago, though. I had seven of them in the deposit box, and we sold them all. So. Next, we have Corrupted Void Waker. This is pretty cracked. Again, <laughs> these items are worth a lot more than they were uh, last season, guys. Coming in at four mil. This is a pretty good item for PK, guys. However, it's very much weaker compared to the regular Void Waker, which is a lot more, probably over 100 mil. Next we have Sigil of Aggression. This is a pretty good Sigil, granting like 10% extra damage output, but also 10% damage input towards you. Or 5% uh, extra damage input towards you, so. Risky Sigil, 10 mil. Very good, guys. You can uh, use up to three Sigils at once if you don't know. Next we have the Sigil Titanium going for 8 to 9, uh, 8 to 7 mil, guys. Guys, let me know what you think about this. This this right here is a use for Inferno runs. If you're kind of good at Inferno, you can do it. It, it basically reduces all monster damage by 65%, guys. Correct. Uh, Digital of Arcane Swiftness. This is a... Uh, increases the, the ticks of, like, barrages by one, guys. This is very correct. Uh, there's also the range and melee version variants of it. It used to be a compiled all into one sigil, but they nerfed it last season, guys, because it was too crashed and it was like 70 mil for the sigil. Very, very, very good that they nerfed that because that was uh, amazingly good. Gotta get back to Dead Man, guys. I got levels to get, but last but not least, we have Toxic Staff, one of the most expensive items right now. Pretty crashed, guys. If someone uses that, this, and you don't have anti venom or anti poisons, you are screwed, guys. I personally bring anti venoms with me. Guys, just in case, guys, because this is a freaking um, probably the best item out there, guys. And uh, honorable mention, we have Void Waker coming in at 50 mil, guys. Best, strongest weapon in the game for a P Kang. Uh, Ancestral, 16 mil. Big Aura's Chain Mace, 18 mil. Uh, we'll make uh, we'll make an update video in a, like give or take a few days, or maybe tomorrow or something, guys. So uh, see you guys in this one. Thanks so much.